What's up, everyone? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Paris, and I make videos all about candle making and the starting and managing of my small candle business, Lady Simone Candle Co. Today, we are just chit-chatting, very informal. You see I'm on my couch. I switched up the scenery a little bit. I want to talk to you today about work-life balance and what that looks like and how to kind of you know, figure out those muddy waters because of course, as a startup, as a new business owner, you wanna grind and make sure your business is working. But at the same time, you don't wanna forget taking breaks and rejuvenating yourself by spending self time with yourself or just with family and friends. So today I'm gonna to give you some helpful tips on how to figure out that work-life balance. So let's just get started. ahead and jump right in one of the first things that I recommend and I had to learn that as well is setting a hard stop each day so giving yourself a time to stop each day now I know that does not always work I know for me there's times where things just I have to kind of get things done whether that's deadlines or you know goals I'm trying to hit or things like that um, so it may not happen all the time, but I do suggest maybe trying to set a hard stop day at least every day or every other day. For me, my hard stop is around 8 o'clock, oh, between 7.30 and 8 o'clock. That's around the time where I'm finishing up dinner, I'm getting our son fed, tidying up toys, you know, fixing everything up, washing dishes, blah, blah, blah. And then that's also the time where after he's done eating, my husband and I take him upstairs to give him a bath and read him a book, pray, and put him to bed. And then after that, that is hubby and wife time. So we watch movies and, you know, maybe get a glass of wine or some popcorn and things like that. So you want to make sure that you set a hard stop. You know what I mean? Figure out a time that is conducive to your lifestyle and your household that you'd be like, okay, this is the cutoff. I'm putting the business aside until tomorrow. Another good tip is setting boundaries appropriately. And this can just be anything. This can be across the board. This can be boundaries for yourself. So you're saying every single weekend, I am going to, we're going to have some sort of family time. So you're setting a boundary with yourself saying that on the weekends, I am carving out specific time or a specific day or even just the whole weekend to devote time with my family. So I do that as well. Depending on my husband and our schedule and what's going on, we do carve out time mainly like Saturday afternoon, evening, and then Sunday after church. So that's like afternoon, evening as well. So that could just be me, him, and our son. That can be us going over my in-laws or us going over my parents' house and having Sunday dinner, which is pretty much ongoing. It's been like that since I was young. So um, I specifically carve out that time for housework, spending time with our son, getting him some fresh air, going to the park. Him and Mike may go play basketball, just whatever. We carve out that specific time. So I set boundaries. Another thing is maybe setting boundaries um, with in terms of social media and your phone usage and your computer. So that can also mean uh, maybe turning off your notifications after a certain hour. So you're not tempted to check your phone or check your emails, right? Or, you know, just putting your laptop up for the, you know, getting your electronics and things kind of out of the way, putting your candle stuff up, completely cleaning up maybe. So that way you're not tempted to dive back into that activity. Something else I suggest is preparing your household, preparing your family, preparing your partner, spouse um, about the undertaking that it's going to be being a business owner or starting a business. So explain the long hours, explain, um, you know, maybe staying up later while they go to sleep 
or getting up early while everyone is still asleep. So I've told my husband, like, babe, I'm going to start my day at five, four, 4 or 5 a.m., and I'm going to go upstairs and get some things done for my course and for my students. And so he knows when I creep out that bed at 5 a.m. and he hears me kind of walk upstairs to kind of our office loft area, he knows I'm going up there to do work. Um, so I'm cutting off that, you know, that morning cuddle <laughs> that we, you know, that we tend to do. If that's you and your partner's thing, you know what I'm saying? Um, so you do want to prepare your household, prepare your partner that there may be times when, okay, I can't, um, go out this or this particular weekend, or I, I have to make candles all night y'all. So y'all gonna have to go get pizza without me this time or just whatever you just prepare your house let them know your goals your vision what you tend to do financially and otherwise and so that way nothing comes up as a surprise for them and it will um you'll get that support you need from them right that 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 wind underneath your wings that you need from them and then you don't have to take on any guilt or um feel bad for not being able to participate or you know losing sleep and things like that because owning a business is a lot of work so it does take a lot of sacrifice so to ease that guilt just prepare your household this is a biggie try to explore automated tools and platforms so i've talked about i've hit on this on one of my lives um and it's a lifesaver like if you can find a platform that's a affordable right if it's your budget and it's easy to use it's easy to you know you could teach yourself how to use it and then you start learning how to batch out and plan out content y'all it will save you so much time in, in terms of social media and posting and trying to figure out what to post for that day and so now you're spending an hour um trying to conjure up a picture or a video and then you got to figure out the caption and then the hashtags because you know social media is a whole nother strategy in itself so why not just figure out a way to automate that process by getting like a social media scheduler um you can also automate your email process so if you're building your email list automate that and get um a crm which is kind of like a, a management system um in terms of how you communicate with your email list and your target target audience you can set a schedule for for those to go out so for those who are on my email list they get emails once a week um, and so I plan out that content and just have it scheduled. Uh, so there's, there's tons of ways to automate your process in terms of talking to your target audience. If you have a YouTube channel, do like what I do. So I batch record content and, um, I get it edited. I create the thumbnails in Canva and I get all of that scheduled out on YouTube. So literally it's like clockwork. I don't even have to worry about or think about it. I just... Focus on the comments when they come. Something else I want to share that is great for business owners, become super productive, whatever that looks like for you. <laughs> and that can fall in the line of organization, theming out your week. So developing some type of routine and learning time management. And that is very, it, it's individualized, right? Because we all have different lifestyles. We all have different plates that we're juggling. And so find some organization. So like for me, I don't go anywhere hardly without my planner. And if it's not my book planner, my book planner typically stays home unless I actually have a business meeting. Um, but everything is also synced to my Google calendar. And so all of my appointments and coaching sessions, those are all synced to my Google calendar. So everything stays organized. I'm always alert of what I need to do. I have... A routine like on Sunday evenings that is when I batch out content for social media YouTube I typically try to have at least a full month's worth of videos ready to go that's three to four videos at least I try to make that my goal and I try to get that recorded the last week of the current month for the next month right so I'm thinking about the next month so I try to have videos recorded by the last to the first week of the new month and I shoot that off to my editor and then I create thumbnails and then I proof what he's done and I get it scheduled. So that's kind of my theme, right? And I follow that theme monthly and it's helped eliminate time and free up my hands to actually work on my candles and actually make candles and things like that. 
when I know I have inventory, that's a batch day. So I try to do one to two days of just batching out a bunch of candles. And then I spend the rest of the week while they're curing to fix any tops and to clean off the jars and to go ahead and clip wicks and lit them up and put labels. So I try to use that full week of crafting, but I break it up amongst different tasks. So whatever that looks like for you, find some organization, under, figure out what your time management looks like, right? And um, the, all of that will help you ultimately become more productive. So you're getting more done. It's forcing you to get things done, right? Leverage delegation. Yes, this is a biggie. <laughs> Leverage delegation. Tap on your friends and family and see if they will help you in areas of your business. So my little sister, she's always over here smacking on labels on these jars. Absolutely. So she knows it's so funny because she'll actually see like a story of me like making candles or something and so she'll text me like mm, so it looks like I'm gonna be over this week putting on labels <laughs> like she'll say something funny like that and I'm like yeah girl let's come on over here and I'll have some wine and make you some tacos because she loves tacos and you know we'll just make a whole thing out of it and so delegate have somebody come over here and help you put on candles or at least um at least help you uh, maybe she could, you know, do some printing for you. They can get up there and, f and finish printing out your labels and um, they can be there clipping wicks, right? And helping you with the heat gun. Buy a second heat gun and tap on a sibling or something to help you smooth out tops, whatever that is. Um, if you know somebody that don't mind doing social media, they can at least help you batch out content and get it, at least get it scheduled for you. So teach them how to use your scheduler and get it scheduled. Um anything right like i can't wait until i get to the point where i can hire an assistant like it's gonna be amazing but until then i'm still wearing ultimately all the hats um i've been blessed to have an editor for my youtube channel so while he's building up his business i'm actually kind of his first client and he's the person that i hired as an, as an editor and so we're exchanging um business services right and so that's a part of the network that I've kind of built. And so I've been blessed and fortunate in that area. So if you can find somebody that's proficient in some of these tasks that either will do it just because they got your back or will at least do it for, for a nominal fee that won't hit your pockets too hard, definitely tap on it. There's nothing wrong with tapping on for extra help at all. <laughs> And lastly, I just want to touch on cutting down distractions. So you all know that I still work at eight to five. And so um, I do a lot of my candle business stuff on my breaks and my lunch and after work hours, right? Um, but also throughout the day, if um, I do my best to eliminate distractions on my breaks and lunches so that I'm super productive, I try to cut down how often I'm, unless I have everything done, I try to cut down on how often I'm on social media, how often I'm checking business emails, and I try to save that for after work hours because I wanna utilize my daytime as much as possible before our son comes home and wants to get into everything. And so on lunch, I'm making candles. Um, now there's times where I can get him settled and I can make candles at, in the evening, but Y'all know, at lunch, I'm making candles, I'm recording. Like, I'm recording now. It's my lunchtime, right? I'm getting my recording done. I'm running to the post office. I'm getting errands done for the business or picking up supplies or what have you. You know what I'm saying? Organizing deliveries. And I try to utilize my breaks and lunches from my actual job to get everything straightened out so the evening I can work on more of the admin tasks until I cut myself off around 7.38 and then spend time with my family. So I know maybe if you're feeling discouraged and you're like, I just feel like it's gonna take forever to build my business. I have that fear sometimes too because I'm a year end and you know sometimes you look at your business and you're like, wow, I wish I was further. I do sometimes wish that, but that's not my reality, right? But I'm embracing where I am and I'm thanking God for the journey that I'm on so far. And I'm just now rebranding. And so my vision for my rebrand is in the works. And I'm praying that it elevates it elevates me to another level. But in the meantime, I have to do what I have to do. And um, it's just what it is, right? And so once you start, once you embrace your current situation and um, 
you know, create your vision, go ahead and work your business and, 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 and accommodate your lifestyle, things will begin to level out. Um, you'll always be busy, <laughs> but it's just the name of the game until you get to that financial point where things can become, can take, can get taken off your plate. And so until then, you just got to boss up and, and, and just keep doing it. And so, but there's an advantage to that. No one will know your no one should know your business like you, right? And so knowing and working and being in and all in your business is only going to help you in the long run because then when your pockets do open up to even hire an assistant or anybody, you'll be able to delegate more effectively and efficiently and teach them the ins and outs of your operations and it would just make your life a lot a lot more um leveled out and balanced but until then take a few of these helpful tips apply it to your life apply it to your business and just continue to to boss up and level up and continue to grind that's all you can do right business owners that's what we do that's what we do so it's it's gonna be all good i wanted to do this video again just real casual and just to give you a little encouragement if you're feeling kind of ah, trying to juggle everything because i totally get it um so Thanks again for watching. I hope you have enjoyed these this video, these tips that I gave you. Please make sure you're following me on social media at Lady C's Digital HQ. Make sure you're also subscribed to Lady C's Digital HQ where all of my resources and free digital downloads are there for you. Link is in the description box under all things Lady C. And until next time, bye. bye.